people don't quite understand the limitations of procalcitonin. If you order a test, you're gonna need to know what to do with that result when it comes back. The company that created procalcitonin tells us that we can use it to roll in and roll out bacterial infection. This is not medical advice. Read these data for yourself. On their website, they state, baseline PCT testing in conjunction with clinical signs and symptoms may tell you if a bacterial infection is likely or not. But are they misleading us? A place where procalcitonin will be useful is to help us distinguish between viral and bacterial pneumonia. Turns out it's not very helpful for this indication. This was proven in a 2019 systematic review and meta-analysis looking at 12 studies and over 2,400 patients. They found that the area under the curve is just 0.73. For those of you who are rusty at statistics, that means that this test is just considered acceptable. Not excellent and definitely not outstanding. When deciding something as important as antibiotics, acceptable is not acceptable. So if we cannot distinguish between viral and bacterial pneumonia, then why are we even using it? There are other indications for procalcitonin, but this one is not one of them.